In this video, we're going to look at how you can use differentiation to solve problems involving perimeter, area and volume. There are some exam questions in this video's description that you can try afterwards. So here we have a compound shape with various dimensions, and we're told the perimeter of this shape is 244 centimeters. And we're asked to first of all show that y equals 122 minus 35 x. Now, if we're told the perimeter is 244, it makes sense to try and find an expression for the perimeter. To get the perimeter, we need to add up all the lengths of the shape, and we're missing just one of them, this one at the bottom. But we can work this one out. It would just be the same as these two lengths added together. So it's 15x add y. Now, if we add up all of the sides of this shape, we've got 15x add y, add 20x, add y, add 14x, add 15x, add 6x. And this is the perimeter, so it must add up to 244. If we now do some simplifying, so we've got 15x, 20x, 14x, 15x, and 6x. Add up all of those and you get 70x. And then we've also got some y terms. We've got y, add y, which gets you plus 2y. And this equals 244. If you now subtract 70x from both sides, on the left you get 2y, and on the right 244 minus 70x. And now if you divide both sides by 2, on the left you get y, and on the right you get 122, take away 35x, which is what we are asked to show. Now this is a typical part A for a question like this. We're going to keep this at the top because we're going to need that soon. For the next part of the question, we're told the area of the shape is a centimetre squared, so we're not given an actual value for this one. We need to show the area is 2440x minus 610x squared. So let's go ahead and try and calculate the area of this shape. I'm going to split the shape into two rectangles, and the area of the rectangle on the left would be 15x times 6x, which gets you 90x squared, and the area of the right rectangle would be 20x times y, so 20xy. So we can write out a formula for the area. The area is 90x squared plus 20xy. Now that wasn't quite what they asked us to show in the question. The difference here is our formula has x's and y's in it, whereas the one in the question only has x's. Fortunately, in the previous part, we learned an expression for y in terms of x. We learned that y was equal to 122 take away 35x. So in our formula, we can just substitute y for 122 minus 35x. And now if we expand this bracket and simplify, we've got 90x squared, 20x times 122 is 2440x, and 20x times negative 35x is negative 700x squared. If we simplify the two terms in x squared, then we get a equals 2440x, take away 610x squared, which is what we were asked to show. Now on to the final part of the question. Use differentiation to work out the maximum value of a as x varies. So we're told in the question there's a maximum value of a, and we need to find it. Now if you drew a graph of a against x, it would look something like this. We know this is the case because of the negative x squared term at the end, so it's an upside down quadratic. So we're interested in finding out the maximum value of a, which corresponds to this x value here. We know that at the maximum point of that curve, if we drew a tangent, it would be gradient zero. So that point there corresponds to a stationary point, in which case dA by dx must equal zero. Normally you're used to writing dy by dx here. Instead, we've got dA by dx because our equation was a equals some function of x. So all you're doing is exactly the same as you would with dy by dx, but it's dA by dx instead. So we can now differentiate. If you differentiate 2440x, you just get 2440. If you differentiate negative 610x squared, you do 2 times negative 610, which is negative 1220, and then reduce the power down from x squared to x. Now if this is the maximum point, we know the gradient here is 0, so we can set this equal to 0. You can rearrange this by adding 1220x to both sides, so we get 2440 equals 1220x, and then divide both sides by 1220, and you'll get x equals 2. So the x value that gives us the maximum area is 2. Now we have a formula for the area at the top here, so if we just substitute 2 into this, we'll get the maximum area. So if you substitute 2 in, you'll get a equals 2440 times 2, take away 610 times 2 squared. And if you do this, you get 4880, take away 2440, which gets you 2440 centimeters squared. 
You may wish to try substituting in some other values of x, like x equals 1 or 1.5 or 2.5, just to convince yourself that this really is the maximum value. Now we'll try a second question. So this time we have a cuboid and the lengths are 3, 4x and 25 minus 2x. We need to first of all show the volume is given by v equals 300x minus 24x squared. Well to calculate the volume of a cuboid you just times the lengths together. So we need to times 3, 4x and 25 minus 2x together. So v equals 3 times 4x times 25 minus 2x. If you simplify the first two bits 3 times 4x is 12x. And then if we expand the bracket, we'll do 12x times 25, so that's 300x, and 12x times negative 2x, that's negative 24x squared. So we've shown that this is correct. Now for the next part of the question, we're going to use differentiation to work out the maximum value of v, as x varies. So once again, if we drew a graph of v against x, again you can see it's got this negative x squared term, so it's going to look something like this. So there will be a maximum value of v corresponding to some value x. We're going to try and find that value of x using differentiation. So we'll do dv by dx this time, again because the equation is v in terms of x. To differentiate 300x you get 300. To differentiate negative 24x squared you do 2 times negative 24, that's negative 48, and reduce the power down to x. Now when we're at this maximum volume, dv by dx must equal 0, so 300 minus 48x equals 0. Add 48x to both sides and you get 300 equals 48x and divide both sides by 48 and you'll get x equals 6.25. Now this isn't the answer to the question, we were asked for the maximum value of v. This is just the x value that gives you the maximum value of v. So we need to substitute it back into the original equation that's in the top left. So we're going to do v equals 300 lots of 6.25, take away 24 lots of 6.25 squared. This will give you 1875, take away 937.5, which gives you 937.5, and it's centimetres cubed because it was a volume. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you found it useful. There are some exam questions just like this that you can try in this video's description. Check out what I think you should watch next and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos.